I believe my favorite uh, senior memory was when uh, none of our teachers showed up because they all went on a field trip that we were supposed to go on. And um, um, we went to Tristan's house all the while Danny was tailgating him the whole time. And we went there, played some video games, and we went to the mall and we watched a movie. And it was just a really awesome opportunity to spend some time with my friends before they move on to the universities of their choice. Um, I would have to say my favorite senior moment was the NAU trip because when we were in the dorms there was just a bunch of weird stuff that happened and it was kind of weird we just we just for some reason decided to open up to each other like as weird as it sounds it was more of just like like oh hey yeah this happened in our life this happened in our life and it's like nah it's okay you're gonna be cool Nothing's gonna change, and like it was, it was cool. Yeah. I'm not gonna say that you know every moment was perfect or anything like that, because I do remember a lot of moments where I wanted to pull my hair out from frustration. But I do remember one moment. Um, it was back right before the uh, end of the first semester, I think, where you know everyone was already done with the college classes and all the important stuff, and we were all just chilling in this room, and it was like the first time I'd seen like Martinez be cool. <laughs> She let uh, JP bring his Wii U, and we were all just sitting in here, like everyone in senior year, I think, everyone in the senior class, and we were using the projector to play Smash, and it was just really, really, really fun, and everyone was just laughing and getting along, and I don't think I've ever seen like everyone get along before, and that was really cool. My favorite senior moment was when we were on the senior trip, and um, I picked for everyone, and I was getting great comments, like, oh, that's really good, thank you for the food. I remember Carbon was like saying, oh, you made my day. Um, yeah, I cooked it because, well, I guess I just wanted to be nice and cook and to help out. <laughs> so my favorite senior memory was actually the funniest, in my opinion. It was when, uh, you know, Carmen fell into that little stream off the Frio River. <laughs> and <laughs> she lost her chancla then. And so she, she really couldn't get down to get it because it was really mucky and it was pretty deep. So Thomas actually had to get on like the little, that little donut, floating donut thing, and rescue her tangla. And, and he did. And now they're going to prom. <laughs> My favorite senior memory was when we went to our senior trip and we were all gathered around the campfire at night. And um, I started, everyone started saying of when they met me and how I fit right in with everyone. And I just started to cry because I don't know, it brought back like the memory of when I was first here and I didn't even want to be here. And then like the second day, I like fit in with you guys really well. My favorite uh, high school memory was when we were at, uh, doing the pep rally video because uh, I really did experience like a, a well, different part of me, which was like me dressing up as a ballerina and uh, just making a fool of myself with my friends. And I think that uh, it shows how united we are. My favorite high school memory would probably have to be uh, when we had a Thanksgiving dinner one time with our friends in, cafeteria, in the cafeteria. And I remember just sitting there, we prayed together, and we had some wing stop, and it was a nice time. And at that moment, I realized that we were more than just friends, we were family. My favorite senior memory would probably have to be the time we took a trip to Texas State. It was actually an overnight trip, and we had to find some roommates for that night. And I remember being paired up with the most random group of guys I would have ever thought I would ever want to have to share a room with. Uh, one of them was the valedictorian and the salutatorian. And it was just so random because I knew that I probably, I probably wouldn't have like, anything to talk about with them. But actually that night, we actually bonded a lot. And we became really great friends after that. And um, every trip that we take after that, it's just a tradition that we all bond with each other. And we've taken a good amount of trips, so we've gotten to know each other pretty well. It's just a great experience and I hope that we stay friends for, for a long time. My favorite high school moment would probably be every day of high school. Um, I can't remember there ever being a dull moment with everyone since we were such a close group of friends, more like a family. Um, I grew up being an only child and I would look forward to going to school every day just so I can have a little piece of family that 
I really didn't have. And I'm glad that this was my high school experience because I don't think I could have imagined it to happen any other way. And there would be a little piece of everyone in my heart forever. Well guys, you've done it. You've already graduated, I hope. I still need to check your finals. Anyhow, <clears throat> I hope you guys learned something in my class, and not just in my class, but actually, you know, throughout your whole high school experience, it's definitely been, I'm pretty sure, something uh, very stressful for you guys. Just remember something. We're not perfect as teachers. And even though sometimes you feel like we might have actually limited you guys on something, uh, you have to have to, you have to consider that we do it because we believe we're doing something that is right for you guys. And one thing's for certain, there's gonna be new pressures, there's gonna be new challenges that are gonna be coming ahead of you guys. One thing for sure to keep in mind is stay true to yourself. Don't allow yourself or don't allow others to basically make you submissive make you choose a path that you really don't want to take that's gonna happen a lot during college and my advice to you guys is to stay strong so keep that in mind and I hope that any advice any lesson that you guys learned in my class you know you manage to actually use it and it's all for you guys later on in the future and I really do wish you luck you guys are really bright uh, you're yeah you guys are the brightest class that I've seen th thus far here in Harmony and I expect a lot of great things from you guys even though it might have seen that at many times I really don't you have to you just have to keep in mind that there's a lot of pressures that the students and the teachers have throughout the whole year but in the end I only hope the best for you guys and if there's anything I can do for you guys uh, after your after you head on out there, just let me know and I wish you luck, take care, and Godspeed. My favorite memory of the seniors 2015 are that you're always showing up at my window and you guys would always make my day because you came, you would help me. It was just a wonderful thing seeing you guys here and you helped me a lot. Oh, uh, yeah, the best time I spent with you guys, like, it was both pep rallies, like, here in the gym for, you know, you made, like, a really good show for lower grade levels. It was really touching for me. I don't know why, but because you are, I think, a really good model for them. And the second pep rally also was over there in, like, two days ago in San Antonio. Um, it was it was also an interesting moment for me is because I was just watching you all on the top of the bleachers over there and uh, it was a really different really great moment for me to see you all over there and on the stage as well when you just announced your your university and actually, there, there's something happened. Like Miss 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 Lopez asked me, you you know what? Like you are the college college counselor of those seniors, so you have to just go there. You have to stand by them. And I couldn't answer. And he said, I mean, she said, oh, you know what? I think I feel you. <laughs> That's what she said. Yeah, it was a really interesting moment for me, also. Dear class of 2015, thank you for giving me this opportunity to express my feeling towards your graduation. I have known you guys when you were in 9th grade. I have even had the pleasure of teaching some of you guys geometry for about 2 months. I have had dinner at my home with you guys and um, I have had dinner in your teacher's home with some of you guys. I have enjoyed seeing you guys getting prepared for college, careers and life and enjoyed spending time with you guys. My most memorable moment with you guys, I think, was the time when you guys were all putting water on us during the ice packet challenge. It was a pleasure for me to be your principal over the four, past four years. I'm sure you had so much memory and obligation since the first time you came to Harmony. 
and you have asked to wear a uniform, follow the dress code guidelines, taking your shirt, sometimes you are given day pass points, and so on. After today, you will be free from uniforms and dress code guidelines. You may not receive home visits and you will never gonna receive DPS points again. But I think when the time comes and you become the parent, I know you will be interested to put your child children in harmony because of the same reason you don't like today. Despite all your memory and achievements, you will always be remembered for caring enough for helping someone for making someone feel special and appreciated and for being the kind of person that others enjoy spending time with. I will leave you guys with a quote from Dr. Seuss, be who you are and say what you feel. Because those who mind don't matter and those who matter don't mind. I will not like to say goodbye to you guys but so instead I will be saying see you later. We will be here waiting for you guys to visit us and we will be watching your success. Thank you. This one.